Hello everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti, and this is a quick test of the iMac HD FaceTime camera that comes built into them. I believe this is the same camera that's coming into the MacBook Pros and other Apple devices. I don't think this is as good as the old iSight cameras that came built in. This does not have any controls whatsoever, at least I haven't found any, so I had to go download an app called Webcam Settings. Webcam Settings allows you to change the brightness, the contrast, hue, the saturation, as well as your white balance and the aperture time, the time the lens is open, I guess, to let more light in. Gain control is not available, so therefore, uh, this, this is about as good as I could get it, considering what it was before, which was a ghost-like image. It is an extremely sensitive camera, so therefore, everything's white. I mean, really bright white depending again on your lighting conditions. I'm currently in a room where I have two fluorescent racks right over me. There's three and three. I only have the two on, one and one. So you're getting two from the top. And I have a fill light in front of me, which is from this LED light kit. This is for, it's probably going to come out backwards, but this is the LED light kit. And this light kit uh, comes with your LED light, it comes with a battery, a charger, uh, an adapter for different kinds of power plugs. All the little devices you see here, right around here, it all comes with it, including two filters for the color. I have a filter on that diffuses, uh, this is a clear filter, it diffuses the intensity of the bulb so you don't completely burn out. Um, the great thing about this kit is uh, not only is it camera mountable, it is tripod mounted. I have it mounted on a very small tripod right now. Looking over the iMac, it's probably about mm, three feet from me. So again, if you have any kind of uh, Mac with one of the new FaceTime HD cameras, I would just probably get a Logitech C910 or a C920 webcam. Connect that up, you're going to get a much better image and much better control over the application. If not, get something like webcam settings and it'll give you some control over a camera that doesn't give you a ton of control. Um, it's just not a great camera. It's okay. Uh, some people I'm sure swear by it. I don't particularly like it. I've used it in several different lighting conditions and it doesn't work that well. Again, I have two fluorescent lights over me of which only two of the bulbs are on of the six so, uh, so you don't get too much shadowing coming down. I have one fill light in front of me, and that's this is about as good as it's going to get, at least with me tinkering with it. You can change the aperture of the lens on the camera, so you can make it darker or brighter based on that, but you don't have any gain control really, and it's just extremely sensitive to light, any kind of light. Uh, if I dim this light, Okay, that's a lot dimmer. You can see more shadows on the face. If I turn it off, so now my lighting is off, it's a lot more shadowy. It's just using the lights from over me, which causes a down shadow. So I'm going to go back and put it on to about half. And again, that's about as good as I was able to get it here. I could probably play with hue and saturation a little bit more, but just in my initial tests, it was either too red or too green. And um, this is right about in the middle. So anyway, this is a very quick review more of an opinion, if you will, of the HD FaceTime camera that's built into your iMacs or uh, MacBook Pros. The iSight cameras, I do think, were better from what I recall. I have an older iMac which had it, and it just seemed a lot cleaner than what this looks like in any kind of lighting condition. So anyway, uh, if you do have an iMac or any kind of Apple device, get a Logitech webcam, you'll be better off, or get webcam settings from the Apple App Store or the Mac App Store. Have a good one, everybody. I'm Rig Zanotti with Relay Corporation.